What's going on guys? I'm back with some more Madden 12 Ultimate Team. I've been playing this a lot more lately and I put a bunch of cards in the auction and they sold. Making up a little bit for all the cards I bought out in auctions. So I'm 28 and 13 and I'm going to buy another gold premium pack this time. And once again, not as good of cards as I get in gold packs. I get Patrick Chung, but I do get a running back I really wanted, which is Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, because I want to have a guy that I can run the ball with in the fourth quarter that won't fumble, because he has 98 carrying, and he was the guy I was looking forward to all along. So I get a gold pack now, and a better pack than my gold premium pack. As I get a special Matt Forte card, if anybody wants to trade me for this, because I don't really want it, OJ Atagwe, and I'm going to go ahead and play another game now. I'm going to play a lower rated team this time, a little bit higher than mine. I'm an 89, I'm going to play a 91 overall. And here you can check out his roster. Some decent players, but we go into the game anyways, with Cam Newton, of course, as my quarterback. And my opponent takes the field for offense first with Drew Brees under center. Counterplay left side, that's going to be Barry Sanders, and he gets a nice gain on first down. About eight yards on that run. We go ahead to second down and four. Later on, play action this time. Brees, plenty of time to look for. Antonio Gates for a first down already. He finds himself in my territory at the 38-yard line. Counterplay again. Barry Sanders. This time more room to run. He's going to pick up the first down and is tackled at about the 25-yard line. Now second down and 10. Breeze looking to throw it this time. He's got a curl route right side, and that's going to be Brandon Marshall open for a first down inside the 10-yard line. 18-yard hookup. Now third and goal from the 1. Out of the eye formation, handoff to Sanders, and he is not going to get into the end zone. Stopped by Derek Johnson at the one-yard line. So now he's going to come out, and this time pitch it to Barry Sanders. I'm trying to get him with Johnson again, but I'm unable to. It's a touchdown for Barry Sanders. 7 nothing no. As I take the field on offense for the first time, Cam Newton hooking up with Brandon Lloyd for a nice 20-yard catch on first down. First play on offense. Now second down and eight. Jamal Charles in motion. He has a linebacker on him. I want to go that way. Cam Newton rolling to his left. He's got room to run, and someone had to commit a penalty that's going to negate this run by Cam Newton that gets me into enemy territory and gets a big first down conversion. A holding penalty that will back us up, and we would eventually punt the ball and give the ball back to my opponent. He's going to keep running the ball with Barry Sanders, and we're not having a good time trying to stop the run right here in the first half. So nine carries already, 53 yards. We're now third down and four, looking for a stop. Breeze on the play action. I knew he was going to go for Gates, and I just wasn't able to catch up to him with Antoine Bethes. It's another first down for my opponent now at my 25-yard line, working his way to the 19th, third down and four. Single back formation for Breeze. He's going to pass it, and it's intercepted by Derek Johnson. There's a nice turnover, and Johnson with all his green in front of him. Oh, wait a minute. He just got tackled by a ghost? What was that? Johnson tackled, stops his interception return, so I got the ball now first and 10 from the 16-yard line. Cam Newton looking for Larry Fitzgerald. Nice pass, Cam. First down, Larry at the 44-yard line. We get backed up, second down to 19 now, and Newton looking for Fitzgerald again. Same thing, but this time it's intercepted by Champ Bailey, and he is going to be tackled at about the 44-yard line as I give the ball back to my opponent. So he's back on offense again. Breeze is going to throw again, looking for Antonio Gates. And well, let's just keep exchanging interceptions. User pick for Derek Johnson. No phantom tackle this time. Derek Johnson at the right sideline. No one is going to catch him. And that is a pick six for Derek Johnson. 7-7 seven to seven now as we go ahead to later in the second quarter. 30 seconds to go. He's going to try to continue going downfield. Breeze this time. Curl route. And I just messed up there with Brandon Flowers. And that's going to allow Brandon Marshall to get a bunch of extra yards to the 48-yard line. Now second down and 10. Breeze looking to throw. It looks like a bad pass, but it's actually a good pass because it went to an invisible player. How do you play defense? against that 19 yard line now for Breeze he's back to pass I'm just kind of guessing over here with Lance Briggs I should have done anything because it's just not a touchdown pass to an invisible player I looked up after this and I didn't know about this glitch but apparently there is an invisible player glitch I don't know how it all works but it was extremely frustrating to deal with so we go ahead now to the second half it's 14 to 7 my opponent has the ball and I just cannot stop Barry Sanders he's getting solid gains one after another now second down and 11 Breeze looking to throw again and and, well, another invisible player makes a catch. It was an Antonio Gates that was invisible. I have no idea how this works. All I know is that it was extremely frustrating. And I give up another touchdown here this time to Barry Sanders. At least I can see this guy score a touchdown. 
So I have the ball now with Cam Newton, and I'm trying to set up a screen pass, and just the pressure getting to me too quickly. That's a sack for Indomitian and Sue. Now second down and 16, and another sack. And the pressure, we can just not stop the blitz. And I pumped the ball away to my opponent. He's just going to keep running the ball with Barry Sanders. And I tried so many things to stop this. I tried doing defensive end contain, mixing up man zone blitz, no blitz. I just, I was so frustrated that I could not stop Barry Sanders no matter what I was doing for the most part. And he didn't even have the greatest players on offense. He was just running really effectively, and I had no answer for it. He's going to get the ball to Barry Sanders again up the middle this time, and it's a touchdown, 28-7. to Not really having a great game on my part. As I come back to the field, the 21-point deficit, Cam Newton over the middle looking for Robert Meacham, but he can't hang on and make the first down grab. So... Fourth down and 10 now at the 16-yard line. Cam out of the shotgun. I need to buy myself some time just to throw it deep. I'm just going to throw it deep to Owen Daniels, my tight end, who has a bunch of separation, and he makes the catch. And Daniels breaks a tackle, 25, headed towards the 20 and shoved out of bounds. So we're making this a little bit interesting here with a 67-yard bomb to a tight end from Cam. And with a new set of downs, Cam Newton now looking to take off, but there is Sue again. Could not escape him no matter what I was doing. A fifth sack for his defensive tackle. And I come now second down and four. Cam finds Eddie Royal outside for a touchdown, cutting his lead in half, 14-28. to As I attempt to try to pull off this comeback, but he's going to keep running the ball with Barry Sanders. And I have got to get some stops on defense. Just not having a great day stopping the run. 26 for over 163 yards, and it's not getting any better better safety making the tackle this time it's at my 34 yard line already we got a minute nine to go third down and 10 breeze looking to throw and there's a big mismatch on the outside Antoine Winfield trying to cover Brandon Marshall so that game didn't go too well for me I had to deal with the invisible player that was annoying but you know I got beat he was running the ball very well, and I applaud him for that. I got to get better at stopping that kind of running. But I do get a trade to go through OJ Atagway for Charles Tillman. And I'm now 28 and 14, but I'll have some more Madden 12 Ultimate Team coming soon, guys. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.